So one of the most interesting new developments in SDXL is the arrival of a new model, which runs and produces images about the same size as SDXL. This is an SDXL image. We have the SDXL image here. We have the SDXL refiner image here, about one megapixel in landscape format. And what you're looking at are test images, which I created to test the output of the, of the new model. Now the model is supposed to be faster than SDXL, much, much faster. And it's also supposed to be, it is actually quite a lot smaller than SDXL. Now these images that you're seeing are the primary image. The Sometimes the uh, refiner image is better. Sometimes it's not quite as good. But what you're seeing here is basically this model can produce pretty decent looking images. I would say in quality, about the same quality as SDXL. This is a prompt provided by Stable Diffusion. Uh, not Stable Diffusion, DALI 3. And uh, DALI 3 can produce pretty complicated prompts. This one, again, was a DALI 3 prompt. Now, with this image here, what we've got is a mouse, which is a clockwork mouse. And if you remember the original mouse, this is SDXL. And this uh, new mouse here is the new model. As you can see, it is quite a lot better. And this was one example where the new model was a lot better, even though it is a lot smaller than uh, than the standard SDXL. We move on to this interesting fairy image, which took about 100 steps. Most of the steps uh, you're seeing for the previous images are about 24 steps. Another fairy image. So pretty detailed images. One here is a woman in Renaissance, Renaissance clothing, which looked really fine. And let me see if I can find another one. This one here, this is a fantastic one. This is a portal image, woman looking out into basically a portal, which is um, uh, supposed to be leading into a different universe. And here we can see that universe completed inside of the refiner model. Um, the, the, when you run this for about 100, 100 steps, you can get a very interesting effect. This is just about 24 steps. But you can see this particular model, it, it produces decent quality images. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it so that you can download and play with it if you want to. The model was announced uh, on the 24th of October. It's called SSD-1B, and they're calling it a leap inefficient T2I text-to-image generation. Now, the claims are 50% smaller than SDXL, 60% faster, which I would say is probably an accurate statement. It's about 60% faster. Now, because of the technique that they've used, and you can read a little bit more about the techniques if you are interested in the geeky stuff, because of the way that they tested it, I think this particular model could actually be much, much more productive when running with a limited system. They were using an A100 system with 80 gigabytes. If you're running a small system, you might see more than 60% improvement in performance. So for the guys with eight gigabytes, uh, maybe even less than that. If you're working with eight gigabytes, this is definitely one I would recommend trying because as you see, the images it creates are perfectly fine, but it is quite a lot faster, quite a lot smaller. So let's see where you get this from. Now it is fairly new. So when you get to this page, it may have changed a little bit. Uh, I'll link to the Hugging Face page in the uh, in, in the in the uh, resources and what we'll find here is three models one is for uh, automatic 1111 um, i think this is one that i downloaded i think this is one that we were testing um, i downloaded it quite a long time ago uh, so i'm not entirely sure whether they've um, actually renamed it just download this guy click on the download file icon put it inside your checkpoint um, they've got a variational autoencoder. So I would say give it a try if you want something that is less uh, demanding for your system than the standard SDXL. Now, because of the technique they used uh, to reduce the size of it, you may find in certain areas that it's actually less effective than SDXL. So I would say it's not just a question of installing it and using it. You'd want to test it out a little bit to see where it's actually improving things if there are any situations where it might not be improving things, you, you want to find that out as well before you start using it full time or producing ten, tens of thousands of images. It does involve quite a lot of loss of data within the model, 
but they're claiming that it produces images that are quite similar to Stable Diffusion XL. Um, I, the ones that I've seen, they're different from Stable Diffusion XL, and I couldn't genuinely say that uh, SDXL produced better images on the whole. Um, they seem to be about equal quality. Now, there's a lot of stuff here to read if you want to learn more, a bit more about how they achieved this and uh, the uh, scope of use. So I'll link to this. Feel free to try it out. Definitely a good, good one to download and to keep on your system.